Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. We had a lot of motorsport action last weekend and a lot of massive incidents that have affected many championships, most notably in the WRC, where we had the first Safari Rally in a really long time and Carnage followed shortly after. So let's take a look at all the action from the weekend just gone and look at some of the main talking points. We've got some WRC, some W Series, BTCC and the World Touring Car Cup. So plenty to get through. So remember to subscribe and let's begin. Motorsport. The first Safari Rally for 19 years. The last winner was Colin McRae in 2002. Do you feel old yet? And as many of these drivers may not have known what to expect, you can understand the weird feel to the leaderboard. Throughout the rally, Cali Rovan Perra took the lead at one point, Kat Suter was second for a bit, Kenyans filled the bottom of the leaderboard for all four days. Martin Prokop was on there at one point. It was craziness. Thierry Neuville was the pace setter for the majority, but once again, Hyundai unreliability bit him hard and he retired on day four with suspension damage. That left Katsuta in the lead. He had a mammoth task of holding off Sebastian Ogier. It was always going to be a big ask and he couldn't manage it, but a second place and a first ever podium is a grand result nonetheless. Ogier wins his first Safari Rally, really a feather in the cap for his career. Tanak scores some points for Hyundai, whilst Ford had a good finish with Formal and Greensmith 4th and 5th, and there were points for a few Kenyans. In the championship, Sebastian Ogier now has a big lead and looks unbeatable. I'm almost certain the WRC is wrapped up already, but Hyundai need to get their act together. They're quick and Newville should have won, but the unreliability is beyond a joke now. W Series kicked off in Austria, the first race in the series since August 2019, and the women of motorsport were in the mood to race. There was action throughout this race, but what annoyed me was the fact there was only one race. Formula 2 and 3 have three races each a weekend. W Series deserves at least two. Jamie Chadwick, the reigning champion, ran into trouble early on when she was tagged by Jessica Hawkins. She spun to the back but managed to continue with a lot of ground to make up. But my star pick of the year, watch my W Series predictions video by the way, it was quite good I thought. But I said Belen Garcia was one to watch. What? Not in a creepy way. And she was running in third, proving me right. Until she went off, proving me wrong. But she came back up to fourth, proving me right again. Maybe. The race really kicked off when Marta Garcia retired and brought out the safety car with just a few laps left. Let loose once again, there was absolute carnage. Kimmelainen hit Visser, dropping them both out of the points. Hawkins got a penalty, dropping her out, and we had surprise points for the likes of Agrin and Sidokova. As well as Jamie Chadwick, who climbed up to sixth and is ahead of major rivals, Baitska Visser and Emma Kimmelainen. Whilst Alice Powell took the win from Sarah Moore and Fabienne Wolfrand, meaning Powell has taken back-to-back -back wins. And Sarah Moore is the first LGBTQ plus Grand Prix weekend podium sitter. Overall, the racing was exciting and this series is a must watch. The British Touring Cars had another subdued weekend at Brands Hatch, but it was not a good weekend for Colin Turkington. As one of the main title challengers, he has to challenge for points at every race. So two no points scored and a 14th is not helpful. He needs to do better and do better quickly. Wins for Tom Oliphant, Tom Ingram and a surprise win for Adam Morgan. Morgan has now won 9 BTCC races, the same as legends Will Hoy, David Leslie and Tom Walkinshaw. Shame he has never had the championship success but I like to see someone like Morgan win from time to time. Ash Sutton and Tom Ingram had good weekends, they lead the championship and Turkington is nearly 40 points behind. And hey, Andy Neat didn't hit anyone. He didn't finish higher than 24th and is still 31st in the championship. Finally, the World Touring Car Cup from Estoril in Portugal. There was some good racing here and as a theme of this video, Hyundai committed synchronised suicide. 
With three cars running right at the start with two retiring in Vene and Mikulitz, whilst Tarquini would get a puncture, dropping out of second. Hyundai had a really awful weekend across the board. There was a win for Jan Elishay leading a Cyan 1-2-3 kicking his title chase off, and a first ever win for Hungarian Attila Tassi, but only after Thiago Montero was black and orange flagged because his bonnet popped up. Vene is still leading the championship and somehow Attila Tassi is second, but this is going to be a tight championship. So that was all the action from the weekend just gone. Did you watch any of it? Did you see Hyundai explode in Kenya? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Thank you if you already have. Leave a like and a share. Thank you for watching and have a good one.